Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my 1960 XK Falcon Deluxe and we're going to be installing a new water pump and a new thermostat into this vehicle today. Now the reason we are doing this work is because this vehicle has been getting hot recently. As you can see the radiator is in relatively good condition. I put a recall through this radiator myself about five years ago. So we're going to replace the uh, water pump which I reckon would be the original water pump on this vehicle. So probably 60 years old. It's going to be really interesting to see how that looks when we get it off. And we're going to put a new thermostat. Whilst we're doing the work, we're going to put a new thermostat in this housing here. So to do this job, we've got a new gasket for the water pump and a new gasket for the thermostat. And reading through the original shop manual for this vehicle from 1960, we can see that it actually says to uh, coat a new gasket on both sides with sealer and position on the cylinder block for the installation of the water pump. So reading the online forums, people actually talk about putting these gaskets on dry and letting the paper gasket absorb the moisture. However, it's very clear in the OEM manual that a sealer uh, should be applied. So I just want to talk about sealers. I've got two products here in front of me. I've got a silicon based gasket maker on the left. And I've got this Permatech Aviation Former Gasket Sealant Liquid on the right here. Now I believe in the original OEM manual, it's actually talking about using this sealant liquid on the right here, this Permatex. And the reason for that is we actually don't want to ever use these silicon products because we put this silicon product on and then when we compress those surfaces, it can form little silicon beads that go through your radiator cooling system. So this is a big no-no. Don't use this product at all. Get the Permatech Aviation Sealant Liquid, and that's what we're going to apply to both of these gaskets, both the thermostat gasket and the water pump gasket when we install these items. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually pull the car out of the garage and pop that bottom hose off to drain the fluid. And then we'll come back into the garage and we'll get into it. We'll take the thermostat off first and then the water pump and then we'll install the new thermostat and water pump. So now that we've got the fluid drained out of the radiator, we'll get all of the hoses off, top and bottom. Plus we'll then get the fan belt off the generator. It is a generator, not an alternator in these old vehicles. And then we'll get the uh, water pump off. We're just going to loosen that off with a 9 16 spanner. And I've got one of my ratchet spanners on these. If you don't have a set of these, these ratchet spanners really are the best. Now in the workshop manual, it only says to remove the fan and then the water pump. However, it's only four bolts holding this radiator in. So I'm going to take the radiator out as well, just to give a little bit more access to make this job easy.
to get the thermostat off, there is just two half inch bolts, which we'll take out. And to get the water pump off, we've got three half inch bolts as well. Now before we remove the water pump completely, just going to take this plug out. Uh, this is plugging what would be the heater hose returned. This vehicle doesn't have a heater box, that's why that plug's in there. But that feels really solidly in there, so we might actually have to buy... No, it's coming. So just looking at these two water pumps side by side, we've got the old one, the 60 year old water pump which we've taken off the car. Just look at that, look how corroded it is. And uh, versus the new one. As you can see, the new one has actually been designed with these cutouts. And I believe that's to increase the performance, the circulation of the water pump. So hopefully we're gonna end up with a better cooling solution with this vehicle. So that's what it looks like when you take off a water pump for the first time in 60 years. I've just got a metal scraper here. I'm just gonna clean this up on the surface as much as we can. <laughs> So as you can see, I've given those surfaces a good scrape and I've dried them down. Now it's time to put that Permatec Aviation sealant onto the face. Now we've got the Permatec Aviation sealant and what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a coat on each of the surfaces and on the gasket. We'll let it dry, let it go tacky for a few minutes and then we'll mount it all up. <laughs> couple of minutes so let's mount up the water pump all right so as you can see we've got the water pump there all mounted up now and it's just a matter of now putting thermostat in and then we put the plug back in uh, for the return for the heater hose which we don't have on this vehicle if a car had a heater box, the heater box would uh, hose would connect to this uh, plug right here. But this vehicle does not have a heater box. All right, so we've got the Permatec on the gasket and the surfaces, been sitting for a few minutes. And now it's time to put the thermostat back in. And then it's time to put the fan back on. So with the fan back on, it's now a matter of reinstalling the hoses. So that's it folks, we've got the radiator back in, we've got the hose all connected up, top and bottom, the new thermostat, the new water pump, and I've just tipped in half a bottle of this Technology Gold green coolant concentrate into the radiator. Now I'm just gonna to top it off with uh, uh, water, and then we will start it up, we'll let all the air bubbles come out, and we'll see how it goes. <music> So that with that filled up, we just need to start the engine, wait for the engine to warm up, open the thermostat, let all the air bubbles release out of the engine, top it up again, and we're good to go.
So I've just taken the car for a test drive. It's running really well. Now that it's got that new water pump and thermostat in there. It's just such a magnificent day for a drive as well. And look at this mighty 1960 XK Falcon Deluxe in unrestored condition. It is just a pleasure to drive and the more repairs and maintenance I do, it just gets better and better and better. If you've enjoyed this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. In the future, I'm going to be doing other maintenance to this vehicle. For example, I noticed when I was replacing the wheel cylinders for the brakes that the rear diff pinion seal is leaking. So I'm going to replace that soon. If that's something you'd like to see and other repairs to these vehicles and maintenance, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until then, have a good night.